Jared Dyson. The we'll move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. And we are underway as the first pitch is grounded toward the hole. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Number 24 will take his cuts now. Now here's the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And as a number two hitter, you got to get that guy to third so the three, four, and five guys can get him home and get you the lead. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. Oh, look at this. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Pete Hendricks will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. The cutter runs outside, ball one. And the infield's playing back here, so any ground ball past the pitcher should get him a run. Boy, in a mid-80s fastball that time, but it's a called strike one and one. And if you're looking for a pitch up to hit a fly ball here, I don't think you're going to get one. And this is in the air now, out to left. Rossiter has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly, and there's our first tally of the ball game. Blake Harris is at the plate as he watches ball one. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and And I'd be surprised if this is anything besides a fastball down the middle. They want this guy to swing the bat. In there, 2-1. and one. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. And now at the plate... Here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Popped him up over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. Barton is under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. So one run here, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, one to nothing. Kevin Franzen will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. And this one's too far inside, ball two. 2-0 right out of the gate. I'd make him throw me a strike. 2-0 is a fastball. Not close. He's behind 3-0 now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And he gets this fastball over. Back to 3-1 now. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Oh, he's a bit out in front here as he hammers that pitch to deep left field, but it'll wind up a foul ball, a souvenir. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. David Rossiter will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Outside for a ball, one and one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Mm -hmm. 
rolled foul off to the left, so he stays alive. Grounded to third. This could be two. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Robert Yokoyama will get his first shot at it here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And with two out and no out, you could call this both a strikeout situation or a double play situation. He'd be happy to take either. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. John Otska will step in now. First offering on the way. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And this will not be close and the run will score easily. Number 16 will get his first cuts here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And these are important at-bats here because here's a chance to get to a young pitcher early and force that manager to get someone up in the bullpen. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Already 20 pitches here in the first. That's got to be a cause for concern. And he changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. And this is low, but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. Two is a changeup that misses three and two. Well, now it's decision time here. Let's see if they want to gamble and send the runners. Swinging a soft liner to the right side, and that's through into right field for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Rich Santos digs in at the plate, and that's in there for strike one. Well, he's really had to work hard here in this first inning. And you got to wonder, how much is that going to take out of him? Grounded foul. Foul back. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Knuckle curve, and he can't ring him up as it goes to two and two. Now a big pitch here. He wouldn't want to go to three and two, I wouldn't think. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. Brian Barton is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And he's dodged one hurdle, but the bases are still loaded. You cannot let down now. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Line hard, but foul. to right field. Dyson is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So one run on two hits, one error in the inning, and three left. We'll move on to the second now at Petco Park, all tied at one and one. Colby Launchbar leads things off now in the top half of the second, the pitch. Fouled straight back. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward fairly deep right center. Otska will get there though as the ocean breezes might have knocked that one down a bit. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in central. Otska is there now, and he has it, two gone. 
Leo Rodriguez will dig in here. In there, 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. In there, 1 and 2 now. And when you don't have a blow it by your fastball, that's a pitch you have to lean on. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And there will not be a play here. It's an infield single as we'll look to see if he's okay out there. Charlie Fitzgerald will stand in for the first time here. First pitch on the way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Cut fastball, and it's by him, one and one. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. Outside, two and one. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. And now a soft liner to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3 and 2. And now that runner on first should be on the move here with two outs. This pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Hunter Shearer will stand in. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And after the two-out walk, now is where you really need to make these guys pay. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And this is where a catcher needs to say, do not even think about those runners on base. Just get this pitcher. And he'll step on first for the out. The side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom of the second. All tied at one and one. Lee Rich will be the batter. And here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And all things considered, he got out of that first inning relatively unscathed, but he'll need to be better here. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2-0. and And he's going to need to work a little more efficiently here in this second inning, or pitch count will become a factor. 3-0. and Takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Greg Crowley shows bunt on the first pitch, but he pulls it back 1 0. And the infield's ready for the bunt should that sign be put on right here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Kevin Franzen will bat here. No official at bat, but he's scored a run thus far. And this is taken outside for ball one. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Dyson is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's safe. David Rossiter will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. 1-0 pitch now. Ball two. Men on third with two down. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. And, oh. and now that strike zone is starting to dance around on him a bit. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. 
And if he could have made that pitch on 0-0 instead of 3-0, this would be a different story. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Robert Yokoyama will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. On oh, a big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. Harris is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. We'll go now to the top of the third. All tied at 1-1. One and one. Number 53 will come in and pitch now. Jared Dyson will stand in. He singled the lead off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. And sometimes when you haven't seen a guy, you might want to take a pitch to gauge him. But he let a pretty good one go by there. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And he's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Number 24 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Way late on the fastball for strike one. And that four-seamer had some burst at the end. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. And he's just throwing darts now. They have not been able to pick him up. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Pete Hendricks will dig in, hit a sacrifice fly earlier. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And he drove in a run his first time through. He could possibly do it again right here. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. Throw into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. Blake Harris will step in now. And that misses inside 1-0. And sometimes young pitchers like this will try to overthrow that fastball. Now a fastball that swung on and lifted down the left field line. And that's going to find a crease for extra bases, and it ought to open up this lead to two. Around third and being waved on home. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a three-to-one ball game. Colby Launchbaugh will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And this one runs up high, ball one. And this is, without a doubt, a strikeout situation right here, as you can't let this deficit get any worse than two. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. And now on 2-0, and oh, you got to wonder if he's going to see anything in the rest of this at bat. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2-1. and one. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, 3-1. and one. in there and it's full three and two now the three and two pitch and that's swung on and fouled straight back and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with only one away Edwin Melendez will try it again. He flew out his first time. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. And these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon. Has a look, now the pitch. 2-0. and oh. And this could wind up being a bullpen kind of game as we've got action down there right now when we're only in the third inning. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Just trying to find something that works here. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And now this becomes a big pitch, especially when you're struggling with command. And this is fouled back and out of play. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. And a 
fastball. Blew it right by him, and there are two down. Leo Rodriguez will step in now. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. And this would be an important guy to get here with two away. They do not want this lead to get out of hand in the first few innings. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Here's the 1-1. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And as my old colleague likes to say, deuce is wild. Two on, two out, and a 2-2 two -two count. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. And now he's really got to reach back and find it here. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. A run is in. Charlie Fitzgerald will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. A fastball here too low. It's 1-0. and oh. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. And that one misses upstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. And the liner foul into the seats down the right side. Now the 2 1 pitch. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's 2 and 2. And he is close to striking out the side now, but it's not exactly the way you'd hope to do it. Foul back. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. Otska is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning, two errors in the inning, and two men left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 4-1. to one. Number 29 will be the new pitcher. John Otska makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And a fastball's in there for strike one. <laughs> and a wry smile there. He knew he had a good pitch to hit. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. Well, judging by his release point there, he just doesn't look like he's totally warm yet. Ball three. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. Curveball here is banged into center field, and he'll reach on a base hit. And the runner holds at second, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Rich Santos will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Alonzo will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Brian Barton will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. And now with two strikes, he won't worry about trying to get a ground ball. 
He will definitely be gunning for the strikeout. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. If you're going to try to get that guy to fish for a curveball down there, you better make sure you can keep it in front of you. Now the 2-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Lee Rich will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. And he gets ahead with the curveball. Strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. No runs, a hit, two left. On now to the top of inning number four. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, four to one. Orlando Arias is on and he'll take over on the mound. Number 29 will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now the pitch. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Jared Dyson will stand in. He's one for two so far. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And these guys are going to need this bullpen to chew up some serious innings. Here's his splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. One one pitch on the way. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And this one's hit on the ground but foul. Grounded foul. Foul Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Another 2-2 two -two offering. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Number 24 will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Fastball in there for a called strike. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. And now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Oh, and it's over his head. Pete Hendricks will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. This fourth inning's not starting out any better than the third did. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Now the one and one pitch. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Two out with the man at first. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And that'll get over the wall, so the runner will have to hold up at third. Blake Harris will step in. 
He's 0 for 2 to this point. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. And he takes a cold strike two. Runners at second and third with two gone. He's ready. Now the pitch. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Opposite field to left. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Colby Launchbaugh will stand in. Base on balls his last time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And no threat to run over there at first. So with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And they'll stop the runner at second base, but there are two on and two out now. Edwin Melendez will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And now this is served out to left off the end of the bat. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Leo Rodriguez will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. When you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is keep falling behind, guys. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And that's the pitch he needs to start getting over. He can get out of this with a few more of those. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. A 2-1 offering. Swing and a miss there, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And he needs one more big pitch here to get out of this thing. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. He's got to bear down now. He can't be giving away runs. Swing, and he pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward fairly deep right center. Otska is there now as he makes the catch, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 6-1. to one. Anthony Ortega will come in and pitch now. Northern Division, number 64, Anthony Ortega. Keith Cohen will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. And what a great guy to be able to turn to off the bench. A 300 hitter, no less. Fastball high, and it's quickly 2-0. 2-0 count, the pitch. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate. Two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play. So that'll move the count to two and two now. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And that misses for ball four. The leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Kevin Franzen will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And the slider bounces, and that'll get on by. And 
And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And the runner is in from second. Now here's the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. And now a curveball as he's got a lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Yeah, with all the runs we've seen so far, it is hard to believe it's still only the bottom of the fourth. Look at this. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Robert Yokoyama will be the batter. 0 for 2 thus far. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And with this being a four-run game, they'll elect to keep the infield back here and play for that out at first base. Swung on and missed. One and one. And a bouncing ball, foul. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. John Otska is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. He waits, now the pitch. And he leans into a curveball there as it's hit high and deep out to left field. Alonzo is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And it'll be a sack fly and an RBI as that'll cut this to a three-run deficit now. Number 16 will dig in, one for two thus far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So they wind up with a couple of gift runs here on no hits as the runs were pretty much handed to them. We played four full. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, six to three. Babe Kenny will be the new pitcher. Charlie Fitzgerald will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Good waste pitch, one and two. Pretty steady diet of breaking balls here. They know their scouting report. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. I think that's enough toying with him now. I bet he comes right at him on 2-2. Two and two. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Jim Haar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 10, Jim Pitch out, nothing doing. Here's the 1-0. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. Santos has to come in a few steps, but he has it for out number one. Jared Dyson will step in, one for two with a walk thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here we go. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. 
Rossiter is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Number 24 will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he'll throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. In there, and it's 0-1. A runner on first with two away. Strike two. Well, no taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 6-3. to three. Number 29 is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 29, Alisson Ramirez. Rich Santos will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Fastball probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball 1-0. Now a bullet down the line. Foul. One one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone two and one. Well, here's where that old phrase of walk is as good as a hit really applies. Just get on somehow. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Brian Barton will be the batter. In there, strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, you got to get on top of that pitch or else it'll take off like that one did. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. One out, nobody on. Here he comes on two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And we'll see if this pitcher can rally back here. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. A 3-2, one more time. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Lee Rich is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, six to three. Edgar Sanchez will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Pete Hendricks. We'll get things started here in the top of inning number six. Ball one. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. Grounded foul. foul, foul. And the palm ball can't find the zone, and it's two and two. And get used to this. As a rule, he'll work this thing down in the zone. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Oh. 
Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Payoff pitch one more time. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Down, they got him to reach for one as this is popped high in the air toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. Blake Harris is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 and 0. And it's a called strike to even the count at 1. Two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. That would have been a good one to offer at there. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Rich backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Colby Lunchbaugh will dig in. One for two to this point in the ball game. And that misses for ball one. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. And now they'll need to build on that one, two, three inning last time out. And that's a good start here. And that misses. Two and one. Two out, nobody on. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Fork ball, got him swinging, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it six to three. Patrick Reagan will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Thomas Larson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And now here in the sixth down three, you've got to get something cooking soon. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. The 2-0. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. And he's had a high strike zone all night, so even if you're on the bench, you got to be aware of that. that Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Strike three called, so the pinch hitter will head right back to where he came from. Kevin Franzen will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now here's the pitch. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. And down 0 and 2, what do you look for now? Another off speed pitch? And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. Hits softly on the line out towards second. And this is taken for the out. David Rossiter will be the batter. One for two thus far. Fouled back. Now the pitch. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through six full. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, six to three. Trent Gallagher is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven.
Mohamed Bosarge is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. And that's dead center for strike one. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute and this at bat. Fastball hit on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Leo Rodriguez is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And this ball will be chopped foul. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Charlie Fitzgerald will dig in. He singled his last time around. And this pitch is lined into center field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. Number one will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number one, Enrique Fernandez. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And a dive, but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit. Chris Cutliff will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Here's the first pitch to him. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Foul back. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And now this is the pitch you want something to happen on. If you go three and two, then you activate the runners. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Now, as the old-time announcer used to say, three and two, and the big ones do. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Santos is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 6-3. to three. Mohamed Bosarge will stay in the ballgame as a new shortstop. Chris Cutler will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Alex Cabrera will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. William Foster is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled the ball. It's 2-0 now. And that's in there, two and one. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss as the pinch hitter can't get it started here. He's gone on strikes, one away. 
Rico. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Boy, and any time you can turn to a guy with double-digit home runs on your bench, now that's a luxury to have. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. In for strike two. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Good curveball there as this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Harris is there, two gone. Noah Goldberg will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Curveball just misses apparently, 1-0. And he's not doing him any favors here by putting him in to face a right-handed pitcher. And he takes a cold strike one. And if he can get this guy, he'll qualify for a hold if this indeed winds up being his last batter. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Now a hard liner, but this will be a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. Long run, but he gets there to track this one down and a very nicely recorded out number three. So nothing happening this time around. Eighth inning coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, 6-3. William Foster will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Kevin Brito will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Noah Goldberg will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Lee Sims will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Doug Burgess is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. And that misses ball one. 1-0 one -oh on the way. And that's high and away and the count goes to 2-0. And the adrenaline might be flowing a little too strongly right now. And this one's over at the knees, 2-1. and one. And even though he got his fastball in the zone on 2-0, and oh, that's a good take. You won't do much with it when it's located there. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. Now he's got to protect the outer half with two strikes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Francisco Jimenez will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. He's running towards second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Pause. Now the pitch. Softly to the right side. Should get the runner to third. But a foul ball. One and two now. And 
this is swung on and missed. So the pinch hitter fails to so much as move that runner up to third. So it's a wasted out number one. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And on the mound, you've got to keep this game within striking distance at three, so that's an important run out there at second base. One and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Well, if he's going to overcommit to pitches like that down in the zone, I'd keep throwing him until he proves he can lay off. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. Will Vasquez will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Low for ball one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. And, oh. and on 3-0, and oh, I'd be surprised if this one's in the strike zone. I think they want to take their chances with the next guy. Taking all the way that time. It's 3-1. and one. Well, you know this guy throws hard when he takes just a little off to throw a strike, and it's still in there at 92. Eddie Piedra will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. This is low, ball one. Now he's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Slice down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. He's ready now, the pitch. And this is low, but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Now a swing, and this is popped straight up. And this could be a tough play. Foster is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 6-3. to three. Doug Burgess will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Francisco Jimenez is going to go ahead and stay in the ballgame and play third now. Eric Weller will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Will Vasquez will stay in the ballgame as he'll take over at first base. Eddie Piedra will stay in the ballgame as a new shortstop. Robbie Sanchez is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Ben Feliciano will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. In there, no balls and a strike. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Yeah, sometimes you keep waiting for that perfect pitch. Then you look up and it's 0-2.
And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Weller is camped under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. Brian Barton will stand in, base on balls his last time. Swing and a miss as he's underneath that one for the first strike. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fouled back. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Lee Rich will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Ball one. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Vasquez will put this one away and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Ninth inning coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, 6-3. to three. Ben Feliciano will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Rusty Thornton will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Leo Rodriguez will bat down. A couple of hits in four trips, including a double. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. The next pitch. In for a strike, it's one and one. And a tough slider there as he grounds it foul. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Now a swing, and like a magnet, here's a ground ball to the new guy, just into the ball game, out at second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Charlie Fitzgerald stands in as he looks at ball one here. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. 1-1 one, one on the way. And there's ball two now. Three and one. And he might walk a guy or two, but it's not because he's intimidated. He'll come right at you. And this is fouled straight back. And that's low ball four. Chris Gill will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 76. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. Two and one now. Runners on first with one down. The 2-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. 
Let's see now if they're going to want to think about putting something on here. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Goldberg is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Chris Cutler will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first offering. Lays off 1-0. and And in order for that thing to be effective, it's got to be down. It almost doesn't matter how quick you throw it or how much the break is. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. All right, he might be squeezing that slider a little too hard. These past couple have not been where he wants them. And he won't go down and get that one, so he's in front now, 3-0. and Out of play. Thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. And this would be a big comeback down three and off oh, if he could get another strike here. And the runner back safely. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Doug Burgess will dig in. He singled his first time around. Ball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. And he misses low with it, two and zero. And this hole he's digging on the mound—it's all his doing. He's got to be able to find the strike zone. And a good sinker there as it's bounced to third. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. 9-1-2 and two, scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it 6-3. to three. Daniel Matsui is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Jarrett Hoffpower will get his first opportunity now. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Number 48 will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now the first pitch. Right there for strike one. And that misses one and one. One and two now. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And those are a little easier to lay off because you can see that sweep coming in all the way. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Slurve's going to bounce up to the plate as he lays off it for a ball. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Number 24 will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Low, 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men in. The 1 0 pitch. Lays off again and it's 2 and 0. And this is poured in at the letters. 2 and 1 now. These guys would like to at least get someone on base here in this bottom of the night. Gotta make them sweat a little. 
Well, a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Slurred. Doesn't get the call, and it's full now, three and two. Tough to lay off, especially when he's looking for the final strike of the ball game. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. And now if he can get on, he's got a chance to make this interesting. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second base. And now there are two on with two out. Kevin Brito will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. And, and they leave the lefty in to face the righty. This must be all about having a gut feeling as a manager. No swing, apparently. Ball one. Comes set. Now the pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. And after challenging them up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. Weller is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. And in an all-star game atmosphere like this, it can sometimes be hard to single out one player for an MVP award, but the writers here have spoken as you get a look at our all-star game most valuable player presented by Topps. Well, Matt, he's obviously no stranger to awards and accolades, but to be voted the best in a game like this with all your peers on hand has got to be awfully special to him. So that's a wrap here tonight. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Eric Karros. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Eastern Division of the Texas League wins this one 6-3. A reminder, post-game highlights from our night downtown come your way next. Now for all of us at The Show, good night, everybody.